Welcome back to Film Time. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a like on the video. Dr. Pimple Popper is the new show starring YouTube personality and dermatologist Dr. Sandra Lee premiering on TLC. It features some impressive procedures including the removal of the biggest lipoma Lee had ever encountered, but the second episode offered the series first truly jaw-dropping moment, the popping of a gigantic decades-old cyst on a man's thigh. Dr. Lee even said that it was a standing world record and we totally agree. It looks like a piece of dough that you're about to squish in. The episode opens with Ronan, a 49-year-old with a huge bump on his left leg. In an interview filmed at his home in New York, Ronan explained that the lump first appeared when he was around 12 years old. He thought the lump would heal on its own, so he just let it be. Then it started to grow in the size of a golf ball, according to him. Though to viewers, it appears to be even larger than a cantaloupe. He says the lump causes excruciating pain during everyday tasks like putting on pants, doing chores, and even while walking, and now it's almost impossible to run. But he adds that medical professionals haven't taken the growth seriously. I've talked to many doctors about it, and they've all told me it's not a big deal, you should leave it alone. They're ignorant about the issue, it causes extreme pain, and none of the doctors I visited ever seem to take it seriously, Ronan says during the episode. I feel disappointed, I feel very frustrated, and I feel very angry. Lee diagnoses the lump as the biggest cyst she's ever seen. At first, Lee isn't sure exactly what's inside the lump on Ronan's leg, so to examine, she starts by trying to suck out its contents with a syringe to see if it's solid or liquid, which would help for further progression of the treatment. When the syringe pulls out nothing but cyst fragments, Lee determines that the growth is an epidermoid cyst. It's a usually benign growth that occurs when a sac under the skin fills up with dead skin cells over time, she explained. Fans of Lee's YouTube channel have seen plenty of these cysts popped on camera before, but this one marks a major milestone for Lee. I've seen many cysts in my career, but if we were to pick the biggest one I've ever seen, then this one takes the crown, Dr. Lee says during the episode. This is a standing world record of Dr. Pimple Popper's biggest cyst ever seen. It looks like it's full of cottage cheese. A lot of cottage cheese. Get ready for this one because it's gonna get nasty. So Lee starts the popping process by making an incision in the tightly stretched skin covering the cyst. Almost instantly, a substance that looks eerily like cottage cheese starts to gush out. This gunk, Lee explains, is the buildup of dead wet skin cells inside of the cyst. For a visual representation, she compares the cyst fragments to oatmeal. Whatever your preferred food metaphor, it's captivating. Each time Lee pushes on the cyst, more gunk flows forth to say that it's like a waterfall is not an exaggeration. Epidermoid cysts often occur when a hair follicle or injured part of the skin gets clogged with the skin cells, and that's exactly what happened to the man in Dr. Pimple Popper's video. Next, she used her gloved hands to squeeze above and below the incision, and almost immediately a yellow cyst is spread out. Then Lee numbed the growth with an injection, then she sliced it in half, and eventually Lee was able to cut the growth open enough to get a look inside. All that skin that was tucked under there, he just gave you a little nice little rose. You see that, Dr. Pimple Popper said, referring to the buildup she squeezed out of the cyst? From there, it gets a bit bloodier and tougher to watch. We must remove the sac that contained all those dead skin cells that's been stuck there for a long time, and the process of doing so is painful for Ronan. But removing this sac completely is the only way to keep it from regrowing, Lee explains. During the procedure, Lee also strikes up an interesting conversation with a patient who describes a previous attempt to pop one of her cysts at home. He squeezed the cyst and then noticed something pointy sticking out of it a few days later. The growth hadn't been totally emptied. Pilot cysts are benign growths commonly found on the scalp. According to Dermnet NZ, the educational website of the New Zealand Dermatological Society, the cysts are sacs in the skin that fill up with keratin, the protein that makes up hair and nails, and the cheesy pungent stuff that comes out when a cyst gets squeezed. After the procedure is over, she treats the wound and informs Ronan that the wound might take months to fully recover, and that it's recommended to keep it clean and not to expose the surface for a long time. After his recovery, Ronan says he has the most admiration for Lee. At a follow-up appointment with Lee, Ronan reveals a scar that appears to have healed well and the pain is almost gone. I spent years not trusting doctors, but I have the most admiration and respect for Dr. Lee, he says. Near the close of the episode, there were moments of pain, but the pain is well worth the result that I feel right now. That's all we have for today's video, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you next time.